everybody, it's Miranda here and I've got a Desanti project for Discount Paper Crafts. Um, Kathy's store, of course. I've been having a blast creating with all the new Prima stuff. Um, this one is with the Divine Collection. And y'all, it's just... Oh, this time of year is so exciting for me when all the new stuff comes out. But anyway, before I show you this really quickly, I don't know, I've been hearing that some of the people aren't aware of all the new metals that Prima has came out with. Of course, I'm obsessed with Finnabar. These are designed by her. But I wanted to share with y'all some of the metals in case you guys have not seen these. These are some of the flowers. Kathy has a ton of these still in stock. Um, she sent me like one of every single one. I've been just having so much fun creating with them. Here's the little clocks. There's different sized ones. Um, but they are just amazing, y'all. So in case some people had not seen them yet, I wanted to um, take a minute just to show you guys some of them. I don't know if that's the same one. No, these are bigger. So you can see there's just metal flowers here, metal flowers there. They're all different. They're stackable. You can do anything you want to them. Um, and then she's got like the numerals and then the numbers and then the littler numbers and just all kinds of amazing metal pieces, y'all, that this is like pure heaven to me. You guys know how I feel about metal. So this has just been like so much fun for me to create with these, this little metal tags and stuff that I embossed one and already used. It's just really fun, y'all. So just in case somebody wasn't aware of all the metals that were out, Prima released a ton of metals with Benabar and, um, Kathy has them all in her stock, in her store. So go check it out. Now, with that said, I did create a little heart piece. My friend, I think Carrie sent me a wooden heart in with my birthday gifts and I could not wait to alter it. So, um, I've been wanting to do something with a heart for a while. So I immediately did it. And I'm going to adhere, um, something to hang it from, but this is the back. I just lined it with some of the fairy bell paper from Prima on the back. And this lace that I used is, um, from Beverly store, but the rest of the goodies all came from Kathy. So much fun to work with this shawl. But yeah, I used the divine paper. The background, I laid some divine paper down and then I ended up going over that with gesso and then I ended up going in with tissue paper. And not only tissue paper, look at that amazing texture, but if you can just see right there, like that says love, but it says it backwards. I did some um, tr image transfers with dictionary paper. And of course, like 90% of it got covered up, but you can just see in like certain areas the script showing through. So I really, really like that effect. And I couldn't believe that of all the things to show the love right up here at the top showed through. So I was really happy about that. And then I just, you know, did more tissue paper on top of it. And I used a ton of different sprays, shimmers primarily and stuff, and just sprayed and gessoed and created a lot of really fun, pretty texture here on the background. Um, I cut all of these little honeycombs out of the, or not honeycombs, whatever you want to call it. I keep saying octagons, but I think they're hexagon y'all. <laughs> Excuse me if I'm wrong on both accounts, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, these are very popular, so I've been one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I've been cutting these out. I just popped these up a little bit off of the back of it, just dressed it up with braid burlap. This is one of the sheets of paper in there. So I just cut these out randomly and adhered it all over, coming in and out of the design. Um, I used some metal pieces from my stash. This is a big hinge and this is a big like plate for a doorknob to go onto. And I used that there. I did a lot of fussy cutting as well. I fussy cut the banner out from the Divine Paper Collection. I fussy cut a lot of the little single roses out like this over here, this whole piece back here. And then of course I fussy cut the little lady out. I love, love, love to fussy cut these type of images out. And I always use, I don't see them around right now, but I have this certain pair of scissors that I was wanting to show y'all. And of course, I don't have them handy, but they're Martha Stewart and they're little white handled scissors and they are so amazing for fussy cutting y'all. It really makes it so much easier and um, less time consuming. So I use that to fussy cut all the images out. Um, this is one of the new Prima Divine sprays, of course, from Kathy's store. And I'll show you some of the other sprays that are in right now that are just amazing. This is from the Hello Pastel line. These are some of my favorite flowers right here. Um, let me show them to you in the other colors as well. These are the ladybird ones. So like all of these y'all Kathy has in her store right now. Here's some other ones like this. But um, just definitely go check out Kathy's store for a lot of the new Prima Yumminess y'all. You're missing out if you aren't getting this stuff. It's awesome. So that's one of the sprays there from the Devon Collection. I just gessoed it up. You can see how pretty it is though. Like the pattern paper is on there. Got a little glue string. Excuse me. I just gessoed up the leaves and they did have glitter on them and I'm not a huge glitter fan. So I pretty well scrubbed all of the glitter off with just a few specks here and there but I just wiped it off. It came off pretty easily with my hand. 
So that's the spray there, and I'll just curl up the end of it, going up the side. This is a Imaginarium chipboard piece, and it just says Moments. I just painted it with gesso, and then I sprayed it with some chalkboard white glimmer mist from Kathy Store, and then I went around it with frayed burlap, so it's really shimmery and pretty. And then this is over here a chipboard piece from Prima Printery. This is, the, I've had this in my stash for forever, and I honestly don't remember where it came from, but I've had it forever. But like Kathy does have the coordinating chipboard sheets for like the engraver and the other ones that are in her store. I fussy cut this little envelope down here and just kind of tucked it coming out. And you can see the little honeycomb shape back there in the background. Um, let's see, am I missing anything? Let's see, just the um, window piece up here. And this is from the last Prima release. I'm almost out. You guys know for a while I was obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with the resin pieces. And that has finally switched over to now I'm obsessed with like chipboard pieces. But this is a Prima resin from the last release from Kathy's store. Really, really pretty. And then um, she also has a ton of new chipboard in her store. So I wanted to show you guys some of the chipboard elements that she's now carrying. Um, of course, the Kaiser Craft ones. Love these. And then some of the Leaky Shed ones and stuff. But she's just got a ton of new um, stuff in her store from, ch from chipboard to the new Prima releases. Everything, y'all. Um, so definitely I will put a link to Kathy's store down below so you guys can go check it out and stock up on some goodness. Um, but I hope you like my project. This is going out in the mail this week to a special gal here on YouTube that we all know. Um, and I really hope she likes it. And I hope you guys like it too. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will catch up with you later. Bye.